Are we live? Okay. Good morning. You tune in to Reality Check on on radio. My name is Dean Goliath, and with me I've got two very important people. The one is Paul Best, uh, and he heads the um, what we call the Labour Desk of the Cape Coloured Congress, and we have the provincial organizer, and he goes by the name of Mr. Nazmi Jacobs. Both of these gentlemen are actively involved in um, the everyday running of the organization, and they are also the people that works on all the nerves of all other political parties. Guys, good morning. How are you doing? Good morning. Thanks for having us here today. Yes, uh, that's what we try to do. We strive to upset the other political parties. And well, people say, try to make CCC relevant. We're already relevant. We are just wanting to show to people how relevant we are. Okay, and I believe that Mr. Nasmit Jacobs is the chief upsetter in the whole of South Africa. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. Very glad to be here this morning. Okay, but Nasmi, what's, what's happening in Cape Town? Are we, uh, as the CCC, as the CCC, are we, are we actively busy uh, um, campaigning? Or what are we doing? And what is the, 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 the role that you actually play in both the province, the city of Cape Town, and, and nationally? What, 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 what are you doing for the CCC except for being the chief upsetter and the chief gevoelseeler, moeilijkheid maker? Ah, is my is what I say, moeilijkheid maker, moeilijkheid maker, moeilijkheid maker. But also role now was also it can was me to was ma can for under as we did back of we need to be the change. We can't wait for change. For thirty years of people voting. So change will be able will be able to bring change our community if thirty years has been long. Our role now is to go out of what she's out. For some people, they're just the racist. What did you do? Because at this moment in time, we have been overlooked. If we are willing to. Back, back to the to the issue, I see that you've, you've mentioned the issue that the CCC is not a racist party. Yes, we all conform to multiracialism. Is that the correct word, Paul? Yes. Uh, okay, that is it. The other thing that I have learned um, for the last couple of, let me say, almost two years, I've learned that CCC is not necessarily racist, but they are a colored party, but they are there for the colors um, within the broader scope of the political sphere in South Africa. Guess what? What is so significant is that if people claim that we are a racist party just because of the term colored, um, we've got Paul Bester here, Paul Bester. Um, I, I can't say whether Paul is white, whether Paul is black, whether Paul is colored, whether Paul is Indian, but all I know is that Paul is an activist and he believes to fight um, um, for the oppressed or against oppression and marginalized, marginalization. Oh my God, the tongue, tongue twisted me. Paul, Paul, give your view on it. Thank you. Um, look, Cape Town by its very nature, Western Cape is the birthplace of the CCC, mm -hmm. the Cape Colored Congress. All of us in Cape Town, doesn't matter if you're white, black, you have colored blood. I cannot use that word, colored blood in you, because yeah. we have, in our history, in our ancestry, comes from the, uh, the, the, the slaves, and we were born out of that. Unless you are from Europe yourself now, <laughs> and you've been born in Cape Town for many years, and you've got family in Cape Town, you have got blood of ancestry call it like the leave the colored blood you have ancestry of yeah. of slaves in our midst so to me it doesn't matter where i come from the fact mm -hmm. of the matter is that being marginalized in cape town you see certain colored groups not a colored person colored groups are being marginalized by the political system that we have currently the political system we have currently is one that's bred by politics of the stomach people look after wow. themselves wow. and they want to marginalize people because they want to keep money for themselves. I am in the CCC not very long, but what I've seen is, yes, it's the provincial organizer. If you go to any other pro or political organization or union, provincial organizer, organizer will not work for less than 40,000 rand a month. Of course. Our person, 
it's zero money. He gets hands out, if I may use it, hand out, to keep himself sustained at home to eat a piece of bread. But he goes out every morning and, what is, what's the word you said? Upset, upset the other yeah. people. Chief upsetter. The chief <laughs> upsetter. And stay the chief upsetter because yeah. it's in his heart. So this is the difference between politics in South Africa and the city. We are not there for the politics of the stomach. We are there to work on a system that will eradicate the marginalization of a certain person. Well, that is brilliantly said, Paul. You know what, Hence you, you, you talk about we, uh, the CCC, you guys are on the ground, and we've got the chief of city here in the form of the provincial organizer, Mr. Smith Jacobs. You know what, the very first election that was contested by the CCC was the local government election in 2002. I can recall um, being on the sidelines or on the media part of things in the Western Cape, um, just prior to the local government elections, um, there was a by-election in Delft. Now, people, people saw the CCC at the time as just another pop-up or mushroom party, and, 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 and the idea, the narrative outside there was, what can Allah do? You know? What can Allah do? Let's go for a be as defiled items, but the gay be as a, you know, these type of things. But what happened, uh, the significance of that by election in Delft in 2021, I believe it was in June or July. I'm not sure, I'm not sure about the date. But the significance was, is that there was a great upset. Actually, the CC came second in that yeah. by election. What percent was it? But you see, it shook the political landscape of the Western Cape. It says that, listen, the Western Cape is ready for an alternative. The alternative in the form of the sea, the alternative in the form of a colored party or a party that stand up for the color child in particular. And I believe that the CCC is unapologetic about it. Noting the fact that that was the first election contested by, by, by the Cape Colored Congress, Cape Colored Congress went into the election of 2021 without dissent. At least that is what I've been. That's healthy. That's healthy. I can recall in Pella, where I reside, um, one of the, the agents, or what do you call it, uh, part, not party agents, volunteers at the time, said the soul alone, resources was not there um, in the Atlantis area. Some of you guys, Nazmi, you hungry all day. But as a party without a budget, poor, good lord, I mean, you've got a political background, I got a political background, Nazmi is a uh, diversion territory for you, but he's the, mm. chief, the chief upsetter. We know that no election can be continued. There are parties, or at least one party that we know of, that have spent probably a million or more and only got one or two. Here comes the Cape Colored Congress. And they obtained seven in the big mighty of Cape. What is the difference, guys? Please tell me what makes it so different and so beautiful. It's what the C stands for, fight for. The, uh, the are by election gave birth to the demarcation of the votes. The DA got such a big fright, they implemented demarcation of votes because they were scared they're going to lose the elections. That gave birth to the demarcation. At wow. that time, it wasn't here from like the top of votes. After that by election, they went to the table and said, what are we they gave birth to the nation. Are we still all these words? Because some of our people were interested in a certain place, and we couldn't vote at this place. We had to go vote at it. So we lost a lot of voters at the time. And you know why we have voters? Because people stand for fighting. We're fighting a system, a system that oppresses one race, a system that benefits one race, and oppresses others. Same like apartheid. Apartheid was a law. Was it right? They were right. But it was a law. A law that benefited one race, but the other. And what we, the CCC <coughs> is fighting now, system. Now the system was designed so that we, ever fights the system, looks at our races because now we're fighting the black. Not fighting the black, we're fighting the system where the black is benefiting from, where we as candidates are also on paper, we are included as black, but in reality, the reality we are home, unemployed, don't get school. The system is fighting. Brilliantly said, Mr. Nasma Jacobs. Those of you that don't know Nasma Jacobs, he is the provincial organizer of the Cape Colored Congress in the Western Cape and very soon probably will be promoted. Let me not even address that in any way. <laughs> um, 
whilst we're talking about this and talking about the, the results of, of we touch based on the results of the 2021 local government elections, go back to you. You hit the, the, the labor desk of the CC. Um, in terms of the election campaign or what the C stands for, do you believe that, that, that even the labor desk would make an impact or difference or, or contribute to the election campaign I, and I, its totality? Correct. I would want to answer that, but let me go back one. Okay. You were talking about the election of 2021 and the Western Cape and the colored person, colored child being emancipated. Come 2024, there's places in Jobo called Westbury, colored, you know, the Northern Cape, 90% colored. These people want a home for the colored heart. They want a home. Where is that home? It's going to be the season. Those people are being evoked. They are being spirited. Our flames are burning in the hearts of the colored people of mm. South Africa. Mm. And they might mm. not want to vote for the municipality or the province that they stay in, but they would want a face to represent them wow. as a person. Somebody to stand up that they can say, this is the person that we are mandating. We're going to fight for us at national. And when we go out, it's so easy to be, if you look at what we do here, and I'm saying it, I project it. It's going to be so easy to be working and be mandated by your president to go to province and to nudge national government because we are not going to be there for ourselves. Of course not. We are going to come to a meeting and say, this is what we want for the colored child. And you're going to fight that cause in parliament no matter what, come hell or high water. And we may have firebrands in parliament already like the EFF. And you may have people that fight there. But what do, why do they do that? It's for self-recognition. When last did you see this, the EFF stand up and go to a municipality and fix something like water in the Western Cape where they are supposed to be? They don't. Have, has it happened in Soweto? It hasn't. They are there for themselves. Things like that is what the CCC will fight. But though, going back to what you were asking me on the labor, there's a, there's a notion that unions are dead. Mm -hmm. And, and it's, we are flogging a dead horse to try and revive unions. It's not the technique good. Money has taken over in unions. Investment companies, I can call them by name and I'm yeah. not going to do that, but unions are technically bankrupt because of the massive frauds inside it. But what we propose and what I propose is a colored and a marginalized union for all workers across all spheres, not mm. going into mm. the construction and manufacturing mm. and farm. Mm. We will support you as a worker. That union is rising. It's a giant that's rising. The sleeping giant is rising. And we most probably will see that around about the 5th to the 10th of August wow. when it shows its face. But then as a labor organization, we will look after the rights, labor, labor rights. The Labor Relations Act and the Basic Condition of Employment Act came with blood from our fathers and mothers. Yes. It was sacrifices by our families. <laughs> People went into exile. People were killed. Colored childs were killed. Talking about guys like Ashley Krill. I'm talking about Anton Franz. Mm. I'm talking about these leaders who are not recognized, by the way, by the national government as we speak. I'm saying is we will recognize them. Our branches will be called Ashley Krill branch at the Anton Franz branch. We are going to speak about the labor issues that addresses the marginalized and the colored person. And so when I say this, the fact that we are going to join, have a union, we are not going to be there to get investments from big companies. You're not going to be the face of the corporate. You're not going to be working for the bourgeoisie. It's going to be the marginalized that stands up, fight for themselves, making sure that the rights and the regulations that's already there just be implemented and recognized by national government. That's what we want. Wow, powerful. Let me, let me, let me speak to, to, to the listeners of viewers in, in, in this context, Paul. You know what? Um, Nasmi Jacobs tend to, to, to say this all over the place on all social media platforms, TikTok in particular. Um, he said that, that fighting for the color child was never a election slogan. Is that what you said, Nasmi? You yes, said that. it was never election slogan. It was never an um, election slogan. So this thing of fighting for the color child or, or fighting oppression and marginalization, it is something that is almost in the DNA of the CCM. Am I correct? That. Yes. I, I want to say add something, I want to steal something from my comrade there, and I call him comrade because he's my comrade. He, he termed, or he coined the phrase that I heard from him the first time, and I'm fighting for the colored child is not an election. Wow. But our slogan is going to be, Berate for the Berate. 
Because that's what we are. We are bereid. But Mandela Nelson Mandela said in, this, in, 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 in Parliament, oh, in, in court, just before mm -hmm. the 1960, he was, he said, fighting apartheid is a cause that we will all fight for, but which I am prepared to die, die for. for. Yeah. Fighting for the right of the colored child is something that we will die for, be arrested for. And we are, we ons is bereid om te gee, so ons is bereid vir die bereidste. Die bereid vir die bereidste. Bereid vir die bereidste, so dat die mense in Zuid-Afrika kan weet, die nazi wat Zuid-Afrika gemaakt het, en wat uitgemoor is van die boesmans af, wow. uitgemoor is dier wit mense, en dier settlers, die strandlopers, kooisan, wat uitgemoor is dier wit mense, wat die vaders en die moeders is van die bruin man, ja. ons ja. gaan daai terugbring in, in Zuid-Afrika, die recht. Let me, let, me, let me conclude this interview on this note. I, I understand that, yes, Nasmi is the chief upsetter, then we have um, the, the, what do you call this? Um, chief agitator. The yeah. chief agitator, <laughs> and, and, and he's got his lieutenants, your Shal Menars, them, Eugene Kluter, them, and mm. we can mention them. Um, in the West Coast, we have the Niyaz uh, Stevens, them. We, we've got... Uh, even in, in, what do you call it, in, 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 in the East, in the work. Yeah, yeah, in the Eastern Cape, we, we've got people there, or the CCC's got people there, we've got people in the Northern Cape, we've got people in Houting province, we've got people all over the Western Cape province, in Otsworing, etc, etc. So, um, uh, in conclusion, I would say that, what do you think, I would believe that the CCC is ready for 2024. We got to, we will be, or not, I'm saying we in the context of us talking here, saying that the CCC will again upset the, the, the bigger parties or the smaller parties, but we will upset the governing organizations both in, in, in Cape Town and not Cape Town, the Western Cape and uh, nationally. Now, by doing that, by saying that, do you, would you agree with me that the Cape Colored Congress, by the way, I've heard through the grapevine that the name will change to National Colored Congress. Yeah. So, National Colored Congress, that is the organization that will contest elections. So those of you that don't know, the National Colored Congress will at that time be the ex-Cape Colored Congress. So the party will contest the national elections under the name of the National Colored Congress and we will contest, the party will contest nationally. Okay, in conclusion, are we ready for this election 2024? We were born ready. 2024 will be our 1994. We have been misled by misled. Into thinking, into believing they were represent us. Sadly, they didn't represent On paper, we were included, but in reality, we are excluded. So, how do we need voice for our people? A lot of them sit in Parliament. Any one of them ever spoken about the colors of Nobody did. Nobody. But the seats will go to Parliament. And also the Afrikaans parade, but also it was men's parade. So, as men's in the first time, it was younger. Maar ons praat na ons mens. Ons praat nie net van ons mens, ons praat vir ons mens. Mens het altijd gepraat van ons mens. Hulle nooit gepraat vir ons mens. Hy gaat ons verander. Wel Paul? Al wat klus was sê, in 1964, steps somewhere in America, one of the biggest, greatest civil rights union leaders, Martin Luther King. I have a dream, that one day, white kids and black kids will work on the beaches. That dream is real today. The CCC, the yeah. NCC, is that dream that is being aroused. We are waking up to a new dawn, a dawn that is run by the marginalized. It says that government should be by the people, for the people. We are the people. We will run the government by as the people, for that people. Well, I've got goose bubbles in the house, you know what? Uh, when Paul speak and Nassim speak, the, the passion and the emotions that are there, you guys that are tuned in or listen or watch this video, watch this live, you won't understand if you're not with these guys. So the goose bumps are taking no career in my heart. Um, so these guys claim that we are ready for 2024. And um, Nasmi said that we are berit for the beritsness and I believe that that term is used in the West Coast in particular. My apologies that we have some people's cell phones. It's a clean problem. 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 It
Okay, we are for the people, by the people, and on behalf of the people. We got to say that. The voice of the voiceless. We are the voice of the voiceless. Making CCCA. the impossible very possible. Making the impossible very possible. And Ramaz and I believe a vote for the National Colored Congress is an investment in the future of the colored child. We got to say goodbye. These guys are ready to go to war. As they put it, Ramaz said, my name is Dean Goliath. They say that the battle lines has been drawn. The war is on. 2024, here we come. We're ready. DA, Beaver, ANC, Beaver, <laughs> ons kom vir My name is Dean. Thank you so much.